In this demonstration, you'll see how to create a storage pool and then create a disk on the storage pool and format it so that you've got a disk that actually has mirroring underlying it in the storage pool. So let's get started. Here we are in the server manager console and we have the all servers node selected and we can see that one of the servers we have connected is SEA SVR3. I select file and storage services. I verify that SEA SVR3 is there. I select disks. What this does is brings up all of the disks connected to all of the servers that are connected to this Windows Server Manager instance. So under SEA SVR3, I see that I have four disks that are in an offline state. So I right click on each of them and click bring online. That brings those disks that are currently offline into an online state and allows me to take the further steps in this demonstration. Now that all of the disks are online, I can select storage pools. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna take those disks that aren't doing anything and add them to a storage pool. So I select tasks and go new storage pool. I give the storage pool a name. I call it just SP1 for storage pool one, and it's gonna be managed by SEA SVR3 because that's the only server that has disks available. I select all of those disks that I bought online. The three 127 gigabyte ones and one 10 gigabyte one. I leave the allocation at automatic and I click create. So that throws all of those disks in the pool for me to use. So I select that storage pool and then from the virtual disks area, I click new virtual disk. I select the storage pool and then I get the new virtual disk wizard. I click next. I give the virtual disk a name and I'm calling it mirrored. I'm not turning on enclosure awareness and I'm setting the layout to mirrored. I'm going to use the thin provisioning type because it's a virtual disk. This means that the disk will only allocate space that's being used, but I'll set the maximum size to 25 gigabytes. I click create and what it does is in that storage pool, it creates a virtual disk in a mirrored configuration, which means that if one of those disks that makes up the storage pool fails, the data on that virtual hard disk will not be lost. So once I complete that, the new volume wizard begins and I assign a volume to that disk I just created. So the volume size, I'm going to use all of it at 25 gig. I assign the drive letter as drive letter M. I click next, I'm just configuring this as an NTFS volume. I could configure it as a ReFS volume. I call the volume corp data. I click next, I click create. So it goes and formats that virtual hard disk over on SEA SVR3. And of course, I'm doing this from my admin workstation. So the next thing I do is I open up Windows Admin Center. And from Windows Admin Center, I select SEA SVR3. And if I look in the files node of Windows Admin Center, I can see that the volume M is now there as a empty volume on that particular server. So in this demonstration, you saw me remotely initialize a collection of disks, add them to a storage pool, create a virtual disk and format that disk, and then verify that the volume was present in Windows Admin Center.